everyone, welcome back to Theory in 3. We're going to look at essential music theory for guitar in about three minutes. So in the last episode, we looked at key signatures and how to find the key signature of any key that you're in. And this time what we're going to look at is how to find the chords in that key, the most important chords. So to do that, we're going to go back to our handy dandy circle of fifths chart. Now, on the circle of fifths, we said, you know, it's going in fifths in one direction, fourths in the other direction, but there's also something hidden in the circle of fifths that's very interesting, and that's a way to find the most important chords in your key. So, let's say we're in the key of C, for instance, right at the top there. The most important chords in, in uh, music are the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. They're called the major chords, and they're called the major chords for a reason. They're the major chords. But if we look here at C, and we go to the left one, we find our four chord, and if we go to the right, we find our five chord. Well, that's an important thing, so the most important chords are right next to each other. So, for instance, if I'm in the key of D, if I look to the left, I've got my four chord G, and I've got my five chord A, or if I'm in the key of A, I've got D and E, my four and five chord, or E flat, A flat, and B flat are my four and five chord. Now, that is really helpful, but let's take this now, and we're going to put that on the guitar neck. So we said if we're in the key of C, the one, four, five, are C, F, and G. The guitar, because it's a geometric instrument, it always occurs in the same sort of pattern, the same geometric shape. So if I look at a one, four, five, starting from the E string, I'm gonna do the one chord, and then I'm gonna move over to the next string set, there's my four chord, and then to the next uh, two frets up, and there's my five chord, one, four, five. All right. And there's another way we can do that also, because again, it's a geometric instrument. If I start from the A string and I play my C note, I've got four, it's down two frets, the adjacent string, and then the same uh, fret on the adjacent string. All right, now that's super important to learn. And the next step on this then is if we look at the relative minor, so that key that's the same key signature as the one that we have, and if we look at this A minor chord, what we find is in the key of A minor, we have our one chord, our four chord, and our five chord, again, right next to each other. A, D minor, and E minor, all right next to each other. Now, what does this mean, though, for the key of C? Well, your six most, the six first chords that happen in any key, one, two, three, four, five, and six, they're all located right in this area. We have one, four, five, and then we have our six chord, our two chord, and our three chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right in that same area. You can spot all the chords that are in a key. Now, why is this important? Because if you're listening to a song, most of the time, it's gonna be one of those six chords. If you figure out what key it's in, if it's in the key of C, you're gonna have C, D minor, E minor, F, G, a minor, and then G with a B or B half diminished uh, will be the last chord. We'll talk about that in a future episode. Uh, but hopefully that helps you to find out what are the most important chords using that circle of fifth with the one, four, five, and the one, four, five that gives you all of the keys. And hopefully you see them and how to put them on the guitar neck. So until next time, God bless.